Hey everybody, welcome to Phillies Baseball from Bush Stadium. Today the Phillies will take on the St. Louis Cardinals here on the Video Game Network. Phillies coming off a loss against the Cardinals as they lost the game 5-1 to one in last night's ball game. Ethan Martin will get his first major league start for the Phillies in this one today. As the Cardinals take the field for the final game of this four-game series. Throws out the end of April. And this is the last three pitching matchup. As you take a look, the Cardinals won the second and third game. Phillies trying to earn a split here. And here's the Phillies lineup with Blanco batting first today. Utley, Jordan, Howard, Belchick, Davia Paul playing center field. Dominic Brown, Salvador Perez, and Ethan Martin rounding out the lineup. And they will go up against Lance Lynn, who is 1-2. No losses, a 3.63 ERA. 18 strikeouts and 13 walks in 22 3rd of an inning. Here's the Cardinals, how they set defensively. Well, Tony Cruz catching and Juan Compton of Peroca. Rounding out the Cardinals defense. Andres Blanco will lead it off for the Phillies, batting first today. He's batting at 195. Phillies juggled their lineup around. Blanco does have a home run. And the first pitch of the game is a pop-up. And this will be caught. One out here in the first. Take a look at the scouting report for Lynn. See that fastball. A curveball to change of 82 to 86. A curveball, 81 miles an hour. This Chase Utley is batting at 267. He's 2 for 11 in this series. I'm all in no strikes. Oh. Outside, two and nothing. I believe we'd like to get it going here to finish off the series. Three balls and no strikes. Jordan waits on deck. And it's three and one. Draws a walk. And it will bring up Brandon Jordan. Jordan batting at 266, three home runs. He's only had one hit in this series. And that pitch is up high. But right now he's. Missing a lot. Uh, Andres Blanco popped up on the first pitch. The Phillies might want to be careful and take some pitches here. Got that over. One ball and one strike. Hit on the ground, might be a double play on the second for one, back to first, a double play. Now to retire the Phillies here in the first. We'll go to the bottom of the first, Cardinals is back for the first time. The 
Mike Matheny. The Cardinals starting lineup, which includes John Jay, Peter Burroughs, Matt Kovner, Adam Thrusso, Long, Gert Cruz, and Lance Lynn. And Ethan Martin, his first major league start, is 6'2", 220 pounds. 25 years of age. And his first big league start is against the St. Louis Cardinals. This change for the Phillies. Now playing As center Ben field. Rivera Number two. Ben has been moved back in the center field. Leading off for St. Louis. Well, Ben Rivera is in center field for this one today. It was Xavier Paul, but they put Rivera back in the center field. We'll try to get an update on why that happened. The count is no balls and one strike. Wait for the pitch. 0 2 to count. Martin, a quick worker when he was in Lehigh Valley. That one was foul. Inside, one and two. Going to the count. You got a good fastball. But he has control. That ball is fouled again. As Jay is working, making Martin work here in his first major league start. Inside, ball three, full count. Call third strike struck him out. First major league strikeout for Ethan Martin. It'll bring up Peter Burroughs. Batting at 235 in this series, three for six with a double. Low one ball and no strikes. That's a strike. One and one. Ball. Two balls and one strike. Hit back up in the middle. Nice play by Blanco. Oh, he threw it over Howard's head, and he'll be safe at first. A high throw by Blanco. And Burroughs is safe at first base. And there'll be an error on the play. Bring up Matt Carpenter, third baseman, batting at 280. And then E6. That was a routine ground ball. That is a strike, no balls in one strike. It'll be a double play, bobbled by Chase Utley. He picks it up and they can't get him. That is two errors on back-to-back -back ground balls. Wow. 
And that was a clear double play ball. So they're, they're going to score that a base hit. So they'll give him a hit on that. Adams is the batter. And he got 316. So Eaton Martin in his first major league start should have been out of the inning. Running into some trouble with a foul. A ball in one strike. Outside, two balls and two strikes. Got him. Second strikeout for Martin, that's two down. And they'll bring up Johnny Perota. Betting at 273. Ball and no strikes. One ball, no strikes. One and one. Playing eleven. Two balls and one strike now. Martin trying to see his way out of the first inning. He took foul. Two and two. Colton Wong waiting on deck. Full count now, the runners will be going here on this three ball, two strike count. Walk. You gotta load the bases for Colton Wall. First base the league start running into some trouble here. Ball. Inside, one ball and no strikes. And one went ball. one and one. Two strikes. Foul back. One and two. Fly ball right field. This ball's carrying well and put away, and that'll end the inning. A scare of what Ethan Martin. The Cardinals get a hit, they leave them loaded. We go to the second to score. Here's Ryan Howard, 0 for 11 in this series. He has struck out five times. Ryan Howard. Trying to get back on track, and this one is the sky in the left field, and it is caught by Peter Burroughs. One out here in the first on one pitch. Well, first pitch swinging here. They'll bring up Adrian Beltre. 
Hit on the ground. Nice play by the shortstop. Goal on the first. To the out. Johnny Perota making that play. So it's two outs on two pitches. Here's Ben Ribeiro. He's three for 12. He had tripled in the series. Well, he's not really hitting the baseball in the last couple of games. They had a ton of opportunities in the second game. That is a strike, not a three-pitch inning. For Lynn. Ball. One ball and one strike. One ball, one strike. Beats foul, one and one. One and two, excuse me. That ball's Another foul. foul. There. Trying to make Lynn throw some pitches here. Two and two. Fly ball, left field. And this one will go into the stands. Nice at bat by Rivera. Did not want a three pitch inning for Lynn. Foul ball. <laughs> what an at bat by Ben Rivera. Gets Rivera on the strikeout. The Phillies go down in order here in a second. No score. Here's Randall Grichik batting at 167. Ethan Martin would love to have a a smooth inning here. Sky foul. Howard coming along and can't makes the catch. Ball came back into play, so it's one out on one pitch. Bring up Tony Cruz, batting at 333 with one home run. As a strike, no balls in one strike. Ball one. Number one. Go, 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 he go, foul. That's a call, third strike. Three strikeouts for Martin, that is two down. Tony Cruz. Didn't believe that. Bring the pitcher up the bat. The ball is a one strike. Lance Lynn. Not had a hit this season. Come on, Ben Lewis. <laughs> Balls and two strikes. Let's go, Cardinals. Hit on the ground, should be out of the inning. Blanco throws over the first. 
That'll be it for the Cardinals here in the second. They go in order. No score as we go to the third. Here's Dominic Brown batting at 234. He's one for eight in the series. Dominic Brown. Brown fouls it. The ball's a one strike. Ball one. Up. A ball and one strike. Somebody watch that. down there in the third. And it will bring up Salvador Perez. He's 6-14. In his last four, he's batting at 189. Woo! Ball. One ball and no strike. center field and John Jay will put it away it's two outs here and a third and they'll bring up Ethan Martin Ethan Martin's first major league get bet Lynn has mowed him down in order. It's low for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Beats a foul, one and one. Ain't DeMartin a good hitting pitcher in Lehigh Valley? No, that pitch is inside. Two balls and one strike. Hit on the ground. A short stop. And that will end the inning for the Phillies. There they go in the order. For the third straight time, we go to the bottom of the third, no score. Here's John Jay as we begin the bottom of the third inning. That is a strike, no balls and one strike. One and one. Two balls and one strike to Jay. Fly ball right field. And Brandon Gordon. One out for Peter Burroughs. He's over for one. And four strike, 0 and 1. One ball and one strike. Inside. 
inside, two and one. Two and two. Another sellout here in St. Louis. Sky in the left field. And Dominic Brown will put it away for the second out. And bring up Matt Carpenter. Singled in the first inning. Oh, looked like an error, but they gave Matt Carpenter a single. Ball and no strikes. And that's a fly to the left. Dominic Brown again puts it away. That'll end the third inning. Cardinals go in order. That bad excursion in the crew will have it in the fourth. There's no score. up to the fastball and you're physically fine a lot of times that means your problem is you're indecisive you're not sure what you're trying to do at the plate you're not confident you're not trusting your ability right now it's more mental than it is physical in is the second baseman chase utley as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. After walking him the first time around, he's all business here in the second half half. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. Now here it comes. And they'll try to get Utley to chase, but he holds off. It's one and two. And now on one and two, this might be a spot where that high fastball was just a setup so that he can come back with that big curve. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And when he's down 0 oh and two, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So. Now at two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. The two two one more time. No. Full count. Three and two. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And Utley's able to reach base as he takes a look at ball four. Still no hits on the ledger, but at least they get themselves a base runner here. And that's a step in the right direction. Brandon Jordan steps in now. Now here's the first pitch. In the dirt here, but fortunately here, no advance. The 1-0. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And the Phillies have their first hit of the ball game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Here's big Ryan Howard now as he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. Well this is the kind of situation where they came up short last night. They had opportunities but they could never really cash them in. So you can bet they'd love to get something going on the board early here. He's ready. Now the pitch swung on and hit in the air out toward left. 
Borges is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. So with two on and two out now, let's have a look at our pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. Adrian Beltre will get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. Here's the first pitch to him. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. One-zero pitch now, and he won't bite at that one either. It's two and zero. Eric, what are you looking for here? It's a fastball count, but he doesn't always play by the rules out there, so this could very well be a slider or something away. So, in other words, I have no idea. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. Yeah, you know he probably got the fastball he was looking for, but on two and zero, oh, you can look for one pitch in one spot, and if it's not in that spot, you take it. Now the 2-1 pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory. And that ends the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. More ahead from St. Louis right after this. Matt Adams will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Here's the first offering. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times, he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Here's the pitch. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. And we've seen guys swing at that four-seam riding fastball up in the zone. But you're never going to get on top of that thing when it's up that high. Now here's the pitch. Here and he let's missed go. with it. It's one and two. And this is going back to the pattern he's been using here lately. Set him up inside and then get him out with pitches away. Now the one-two. And this is going to be a foul ball. Another 1-2 delivery. And this is hit weakly in fair territory up the line. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Boy, <laughs> that's a movement out there on the mound. You see that as a righty. He'll naturally fall off a bit to the first base side of the mound. And he just uses that momentum to field this thing on the run and do it all himself. Here's Johnny Peralta now. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Here's the 1-0. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Yeah, they're being really careful with this guy. Remember, they walked him the first time around, and now they're behind 2-0 to him right here. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Ready with the 2-1. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And the underhanded throw gets him for the out. Second baseman, number 16, Colton Wong will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. 
first pitch coming. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. One oh on the way. That's wide two and oh. Two oh count the pitch too high and it's three and oh. I think at this point a two out walk isn't the worst thing in the world. You'd like to avoid it if you can but this can be a dangerous spot if you just groove one. Here comes the three oh. That one's in there three and one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. 3-1 on the way. Fouled straight back. Three and two, here it is. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. On two-way, you're just looking to get on base somehow, especially when this guy hasn't given you anything so far. So at the very least, make him work out of the stretch and throw a few more pitches here. Rendell Gritchick will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. He waits. Now the pitch. And a high strike there, 0-1. And, and after a walk, I think there's a little anger behind that fastball. He's ready now, the pitch. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Here's the one one pitch. Liner caught at third by Beltre. Unlucky that time, and that ball will end the inning. Ben Revere will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Center fielder, number two, Ben Revere. Now here's the first pitch. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. All right, four scoreless innings in the books. What's it going to take to push across our first run? Well, I think both pitchers have really dominated so far. This is where getting the leadoff guy on is so key. You know, Get the pitcher into the stretch, get him out of his comfort zone, and maybe your offense can go from there. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 2. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. I think we expected to see a well pitched game coming in, and, and we got one. Starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. Dominic Brown will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First pitch coming. And that's in there for strike one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Here it comes. Fastball called for strike two. Well, he's been in a tough stretch offensively, and this sure ain't going to help. And the pitch. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, if you want to be considered a strikeout pitcher, you better have a pretty good one of these. You see it here again on show track, and this is now six pitches and two strikeouts so far in the inning. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Boy. 
He may strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. And now a pitch on the way. And this is high, a ball and a strike. One one pitch on the way. This is pretty well hit by Perez, but he got out in front a no, bit too foul. much. It's a foul ball. The right hander deals on one and two. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Tony Cruz will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. Here's the 1-0. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. and oh. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. And it goes without saying, but this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. The 3-0. -oh. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. The three one is on the way. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. And he's saying, give me a break. And that pitch is right there. Yeah, I tell you, though, complaining like that is only going to squeeze that strike zone a little more. Lance Lynn will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. Knock it out of here. And here's the first pitch. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. And he is in there. And you know what? This is always a really difficult throw for a first baseman because he has to deal with the runner who's headed to second base. And also, that runner can sometimes screen the shortstop that's covering the bag. And in the end, this one gets thrown away. John Jay will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. First offering on the way. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Here's a 1-0. Inside corner, a ball and a strike. First and second here with nobody out. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. That's right. Wait, a big pitch here, 1-2. and two. In tight with the slider, 2-2. Two and two. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. Here's the two and two offering. And this is going to be a foul ball. None out, runners at first and second. The two two one more time. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Come on. The 
2 2. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to 3 and 2. Wow, what an at bat he's having right now. He's fought off some tough pitches. He's laid off a few pitches like that one. And now he's worked his way back to a 3 and 2 count. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a hard liner towards short. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. But the longer this at-bat went, the more you figured he was going to get his pitch sooner or later. Well, he got it, and he hit it right on the butt. And when you work a count like that, and you get the pitch that you want, it's almost unfair that you don't get a hit. Here's Peter Borges standing in, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. You've got to believe he's going to keep going back to that slider been great for him so far. From the belt, kicks and deals. Whoa. That's over, but Whoa. low, it's a ball and a strike. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. The 1-1 home. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Here's the one two. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Stays alive here as this is fouled off to the right. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. And the way this inning's gone, his eyes had to be lighting up on that pitch, but no, all he could do was pop it up. Matt Carpenter, see what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. First pitch to him. And a curveball to begin the at-bat, 0-1. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. From the stretch. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will wind up being a foul ball. From the belt, the pitch. A ball and two strikes now to the 2014 All-Star. Still now on one and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. The one-two. And this is high for a ball. So from 0 and 2, he's worked it back to 2 and 2 now. That's a good idea, 1 and 2 right there, just to see if he'd chase. But now with the count even, I think this one has to be in the strike zone because you don't want to run the risk of loading the bases for the cleanup guy. Pause. Now the pitch. That's popped up. Now towards short right field. And Utley will make the catch to retire the side. Five innings have been no problem as he's got the shutout working. We're through five here at the ballpark, and we still have no score. Ethan Martin will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so against a guy who's definitely in a groove out there. Yeah, he struck out the side his last time through, and they've got to do something to get this guy out of the role that he's been on.
Here's the first offering. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Here comes the one one. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Yeah, and that is through into right and not what you want to do on the mound as he allows the opposing pitcher to reach to lead off the inning. Just the second hit they've got against him so far as we check on his numbers to this point. He's pretty much been in control all afternoon, so we'll see if he can keep that string of zeros going. Andres Blanco will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander's up and warming. First pitch coming. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really vary your times to the plate. You can't be predictable out there, or he'll take advantage. Now the 1-0 pitch. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's one and one. Boy, he is just wearing guys out with that two-seam fastball. I don't care if it's inside, outside. He's really hitting his spots well. Nobody out, runner on first. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to short. There's one on to first, and they turn the double play. Well, this ball is hit sharply, but you'll see the pitch is working its way down in the strike zone, and that's very tough to elevate. It's going to wind up being an easy double play ball. In is the second baseman, Chase Utley. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. The pitch. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. A strike away now from getting through six shutout innings here, and that's no small feat against this lineup. Now here's the pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. On 0 and 2, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. Swing and a liner, but foul. He'll try again, 1 2. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Phillies go down quietly there, still no score. Matt Adams will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the first pitch. Ball one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. It's a long solo homer there off the bat of Matt Adams. And the Cardinals move out in front one to nothing. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that's what you're paying your big horse to do out there. I think he knew he wasn't going to get a fastball right there, so he just stays back as long as he can and then just explodes right through the zone. Here's Johnny Peralta now. There's one at 97, and all he can do is foul that one away. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Now here it comes. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. A oh, classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate to lay off. Look out. That one almost got away from him. 2 and 2 now. And through just five innings, he's coming up on 100 pitches now. Now the 2 2 pitch. This is past the mound and into center field for a base hit. Yeah, he had a chance to put him away. Had him down 0 and 2. Tried to get him to chase a couple of times, but he wouldn't do it. And he winds up making contact on a good pitch there. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Ken Giles will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Colton Wong will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Now the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Here comes the one oh. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Boy, that got a lot of the plate cutting right across the zone. I think if he had that pitch to do over, he would have taken a rip at that one. Here's the one one. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Here comes a 1-2. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. One there on the first. So he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. Oh, it's just so nice to be able to bring in a reliever that can get you a ground ball. Sure enough, first battery faces. He gets him to hit the ball on the ground, and it turns into a very important double play. You can do it. Here's Randall Gritcher as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. The 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball. One and one. He's going to need to crank that swing up another notch if he's going to catch up to those. Now the 1-1. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. But the cards are on the board first, thanks to this solo blast. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up to start the seventh. It's now 1-0 St. Louis. Welcome back to Bush Stadium here in St. Louis. Seventh and... Len's still in the game. Brandon Jordan leads off the top of the seventh. And that is a strike. No balls on one strike. Lynn has thrown 73 pitches. And has only given up two hits. He went around. No balls on two strikes. The uh, Phillies have had their problems scoring runs. They try to break the snide here. And this one. Top foul, and it will be out of play.
Oh, he missed it. Jordan's going to run the first. Not a bad pitch to go after. Not a good pitch to go after. Jordan's thrown out. There is one out here in the seventh. Uh, the Phillies have been out of sync all day, swinging the bat. And Jordan just chased the bat one there. And they're still only down one nothing in this game. Ethan Martin has pitched a good game for six innings. A five and two thirds. Here's Howard and Howard takes the ball. Howard, 0 for 2, fly down and lined out. And on the ground, they put the shift on. And Howard's thrown out. Eight strikeouts for Knicks, giving up two hits. He has walked two. Allowed four base runners is Adrian Beltre. He's grounded out and popped out. That pitch is outside, one ball and no strikes. They'll trade back through the middle. That's a base hit to center field. So Beltre is on. And uh, Mike Matheny is coming out. He is going to make a double switch. Your attention, please. These changes for St. Louis. Carlos Villanueva will come five. in. Two and Number one with a 0.73 ERA. Villanueva. Now playing second base and batting in the ninth spot. Number 35, Greg Garcia. Greg Garcia will bat in the ninth spot. He'll play second base. Here's Ben Rivera. He has struck out twice. Cardinals pitching has got the Phillies number here. A very that spot. Ball. One ball and one strike. Uh. Phillies and Cardinals both with three hits, so it's been a pitcher's duel here in St. Louis. There, base hit in the center field. Beltre will stop at second. And the Phillies have two on with two outs. Dominic Brown will be the batter. Oh, this pitch was right down the middle, and Rivera got it in the center field. Malau in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Strikes. Come on, let's hold them. <laughs> one and one. Well, Dominic Brown could get on base, knock in a run. At least to get some momentum going here. Don't let him score! It hit Brown. So the bases will be loaded. I don't think that was intentional. It'll bring up Salvador Perez in a big spot here. With the bases loaded. Perez is 0 for 2. He struck out and flied out. Don't let him score. Get 
get the bat out. That is foul. No balls and one strike. Two strikes to Perez. Got him. Right down the middle, going away, but comes in and gets Perez after hitting Dominic Brown. The Phillies are retired. They leave the bases loaded. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Cardinals lead it one to nothing. Here's Tony Cruz. He walked. He's 0 for 1. Tony Cruz, excuse me, that is a strike to Cruz. No balls and one strike to Cruz. Balls and two strikes. Got him on three pitches. Here's Greg Garcia. He's batting at 292. He is the pinch hitter for Villanueva. The Carlos will go with their bullpen and set up man and probably a closer from here on out. Depending on what the Phillies do in the eighth or ninth inning. That is a strike, no balls and one strike. Beats a foul, 0-2. Inside, one ball and two strikes. Mm. High ball, right field. Jordan going back is going to bounce off the wall and played on a couple of hops. He is going to try to go for third. The throw on the third is in time for the out. Garcia tried to go for three. What a throw by Brandon Jordan to Utley to the third baseman. The throw was right on the money, and Beltre tagged him. Here's John Jay, the batter. Phillies catch a break here. That is a strike. Jay is 0 for 3. two strikes. Excuse me, one ball. Yeah, excuse me. One ball and two strikes. That is the right count. Hit on the ground. Utley to Howard. And that'll end the inning. We go to the eighth. Cardinals still on top. one nothing. Jordan Walden will come into the game and pitch. His nine games, a 2.70 ERA, 12 strikeouts, three walks. Darren Ruff will be the pinch hitter. And Trevor Rosenthal in the bullpen for the Cardinals. 
and a save situation that is one strike. Phillies only four hits in this game. Two strikes on rough. Hit foul. Uh, the Phillies have not been able to hit Cardinals pitching. One ball and two strikes. Outside, two and two. down there in the eighth. Cardinals got the only run in the six on Matt Adams home run. Is Andres Blanco. One strike to Blanco. Hit foul off the plate. Well, the foul is 0 and 2. Hit to the third baseman. And this ball goes over the first baseman. Blanco was going to end up at second. And that'll be an error on Matt Carpenter. So Chase Zutley will be the batter. A high throw puts Blanco at second base. Phillies with an opportunity to cash in on that error. A one out. Fouls it. Come on now, let's get a K right here. Wait. Utley fouls it again, it's 0 and 2. One ball and two strikes. Phillies have not had anything going. Ethan Martin, the Philly pitcher, has a hit in the game. Other than that, the Phillies only with three hits. Ben Rivera also has one of the hits. Count now. Brandon Jordan waits on deck. Got him. Well, you gotta give credit to the Cardinals pitching staff. They've really done a number on the Phillies hitting. And they're going to put Jordan on and go after Howard. And they know Howard is struggling at the plate.
And the Cardinals hope it doesn't backfire against them. Howard's over three, he grounded out. His average is now down to 161. Howard has not been able to do anything in this series. That is a strike, 0-1. Phillies have left six runners on base, and so have the Cardinals. Inside, one ball and one strike. Adrian Beltre waits on deck. Cardinals have come with the high heat in this one. Howard bounced at the plate foul. Okay. Howard sends this a ton in the right field. It's hit pretty well. And that's going to go foul. Not quite home run distance, but it was foul. Howard just got under it. Ooh. Two balls and two strikes to Howard. Count runners will be going. Adrian Beltre waits on deck. Ball four. Harway draws a walk. The bases are loaded again for the second straight inning. It'll bring up Adrian Beltre. He, he's one for three. He singled in the seventh. Big spot for Beltre here. Hit foul. That is to the first base fit. He'll step on the bag and the Phillies again leave the bases loaded for the second straight inning. We go to the bottom of the eighth. The Cardinals have a one nothing lead. Your attention, please. Now Jake Diekman, a new pitcher, is his ninth Number game. He's got one save, Jake. no run. He's not given up runs, 13 strikeouts, and two walks. Here's Peter Bordos. Yeah, Bordos fouls that one. There's no balls and one strike. One and one. Two balls and two strike. Ooh. He had a 
big cut, but that was fouled. Two balls and two strikes. Another foul. Throw count now. Matt Cartman on deck for the Cartman. Hit foul. Hit on the ground. Perez comes up with it, fires in time. For the out, just got Borjo's. And I bring up Matt Carpenter. He's single in the first inning as his only hit. Better field. The carpet is on. One ball and one strike. One ball, one strike. Two and one. Three balls and one strike. Johnny Peralta waiting on deck. Back through the middle, what a play by Blocko, the second over the first one, a double play by Andres Blocko. Oh, he got it looked like it was going to go through. Andres Blocko made a great play to save a base hit. And Mike Mafiti will come out and make another double switch. Your attention, please. Here is Trevor Rosenthal. He has nine saves. A 2.60 DRA. He's walked one and struck out 11. Ben Rivera back. Billy's trying to get something done here in the ninth. That is a strike on Rivera. The Phillies have struggled in the last three games getting runs across. They. Scored five in the first game. Darren Ruff had two home runs in that one. But that's been it in the series. Howard struggled. Jordan has struggled somewhat. Beltre, he's struggled somewhat. He did hit a home run in the first game, but that's it. Rivera misses. One ball and two strikes. Back through the middle, that's a base hit in the center field. So Rivera's a leadoff base runner here in the ninth. Well, It'll bring up Dominic Brown. Brown was hit by a pitch in the seventh inning. That is a strike.
Bounces up there, one and one. Hit on the ground, oh man. Wow. That has killed the Phillies in this series. They did a lot of chop balls on the ground, and this one was academic. Two outs here in the ninth. Here's Salvador Perez. The last chance for the Phillies here in a one nothing game. Perez just pops it up. In the center field, shallow center. John Jay puts it away, and the Cardinals get a one nothing shutout. Nothing went right in the Phillies in this game. Not even a good performance by Ethan Martin. The Cardinals take three out of four at St. Louis. They beat the Phillies by the score of one to nothing. Great game. He struck out eight. He walked two. And he picks up his third win of the season. Ethan Martin went five innings, struck out three, he walked three. But he only gave up one run. The Phillies bullpen did well, but the Phillies were unable to get any runs across the board. Lynn is the player of the game. The Cardinals win it by the score of one to nothing. And we will talk to you next time here on the Video Game Network.